Welcome back to MD Caregiving, your family caregiver training resource, where we provide instructional videos on caregiver training and the safe and proper use of common home medical equipment. This video will focus on assisting persons with bathing transfers from having difficulty due to a recent hip replacement. Emphasis will be on the use of a bathing board. A bathing board is a transfer aid that clamps onto the top of the tub threshold, commonly used for tubs that are too tall to use the standard transfer bench. During a hip replacement recovery, there are hip precautions or restrictions. The most common of these are do not bend at the waist past 90 degrees, do not turn the infected leg inward, and do not cross your legs. Place the bathing board along the top of the tub, straddling both sides evenly. After positioning the bathing board, lock it in place per device instructions. The bathing board should be placed so a seated person will face the faucet and have sufficient leg room to enter the tub. After positioning the bathing board, lock it in place per the device instructions. When the person being assisted is able to stand, position the wheelchair just behind the bathing board with the corner of the wheelchair and the bathing board touching. Lock both brakes then swing the wheels around to a rear-facing position. Have the person being assisted stretch out their involved leg to maintain a greater than 90 degree hip angle. Utilizing the armrest and looking up, have them carefully stand up. Once stable, they can turn and position themselves with the back of both of their knees touching the bathing board. Have them take a half a step forward with their involved leg and hold on to the wheelchair armrest as support to slowly sit down. Provide assistance as needed to carefully sit down and maintain the proper hip to trunk angle. Once stable, the wheelchair can be removed out of the way and they can hold onto the bathing board for balance and support. Provide assistance for them to slowly start turning towards the tub, pushing on the bathing board with both hands as needed, and help them raise their leg over the tub threshold, maintaining a greater than 90 degree trunk angle. With both hands on the board, have them scoot into the tub. Then provide assistance for them to raise their other leg over the tub threshold maintaining a greater than 90 degree hip to trunk angle. When the person being assisted is unable to stand, position the wheelchair next to the bathing board. Lock the brakes, then swivel the wheels out of the way to a rear facing position. Have the person being assisted scoot forward and elongate their involved leg, maintaining a greater than 90 degree hip to trunk angle. Putting one hand flat on the bathing board and the other hand on the wheelchair armrest. Provide assistance for them to slowly start scooting off of the wheelchair onto the bathing board. This may take a few attempts. Once they are firmly seated on the bathing board, Holding on with both hands, the wheelchair can be moved out of the way. Help them raise their first leg over the tub threshold. Repositioning as needed by using both hands on the bathing board. Provide assistance for them to slowly continue to scoot along the bathing board into the tub and help them raise their involved leg over the tub threshold carefully maintaining a greater than 90 degree hip to trunk angle. Congratulations on your purchase of our instructional video for caregiver training, and I'm sure you are now a more confident caregiver. MD Caregiving cautions you to review our instructional videos prior to providing bathing skills assistance, as these maneuvers can be potentially dangerous and quite challenging. Thank you for selecting MD Caregiving as your family caregiver training resource.